Hi again, everyone. I've got uh, some new stuff here. Um, okay, so we've got our transmitting coil um, up uh, up here, and it's uh, grounded to this green ground wire that's going out the window. And then I've got another ground wire that's 10 meters away outside that uh, we're going to be transmitting through. Um, uh, actually, we're going to be transmitting through the ground in between those two ground wires uh, in order to make this happen and uh, still just using the signal generator uh, it's about 1.052 megahertz and uh, that's going into the primary on this guy and uh, it's uh, tuned up for that frequency and then uh, so this is the ground there and then we've got this coil uh, grounded to uh, that other coil 10 meters away the other wire 10 meters away and I'm just gonna pull this uh, the base of the of this coil off the grounding and we'll see what happens to this transmission see if we can get it in the same shot no I can't okay pulling it off back on off on off on <laughs> that is really fast response. So that is really interesting. And this is the uh, Eric Dollard receiver that I've got uh, set up here. And I'll kind of elaborate more on that. I'm just going to plug that back in. So um, it's a pretty decent sine wave. Uh, only one of the leads are plugged in right now to the bulb uh, just so that it doesn't uh, act as a, a load instead of a meter and um, okay so we've got the base of the uh, secondary here uh, running up to this uh, this plate of metal Okay, and that is uh, positioned just a certain distance away from uh, the top load here. So, okay, you can see if I put my hand close, I kill the, uh, bring the impedance up too high, and uh, okay, so now we'll position this, uh, this. Uh, kind of a capacitive plate tower, pull it away, bring it back, too close, pull it away, there we go. So just from bringing this plate up to the top load, we uh, can tune this thing, so we go from nothing you know, because say you just went and plugged in your second uh, receiving coil, and uh, you know, un un as it looks right now, if I didn't have this plate, it would be like there's nothing going on. Um, but we can change the capacitance of the system by bringing this uh, closer and further. So that is really awesome. I like that. So this coil actually is just the, uh, it starts about right here. These these windings are not used. It's just the two turns uh, primary. And then the secondary starts here and goes up. <clears throat> and uh, spaced out on the last uh, few turns at the top. Just because I've seen Tesla's uh, own work look like that. I'm guessing just so you can lift or lower one turn slightly at a time to change the inductance uh, ever so slightly. And then the uh, top load or the uh, extra coil or magnifying coil is uh, just coupled directly to that and uh, going up. Um, okay, and check this out. So we got light. 
I'll pull off this one extra can. Okay, pulled that off. No light. Put it back up. The light's back. So adding that one can to the top for just a bit more capacitance uh, I was able to bring that into a nice range where there was a point where it can even be too close to this plate. So it's nice that you know it doesn't just get brighter and brighter as you bring it closer and closer. There's an actual point where it's uh, too much and too little, you know. So put it, pull it back away. Bring it up close. Too close. That is really awesome. And keep in mind that uh, um, there's no electromagnetic radiation coming from this thing. It's just longitudinal magnetodielectric transmission through the ground. 10 meters of ground in between these two wires that go out the window. Um, and that's proven by taking this uh, detaching the ground connection. So this is still just with a couple of volts in the signal generator and uh, this bulb is about to fail. Uh, so we're gonna um, I'm just going to wait for my high voltage uh, air capacitors or just build some and uh, we'll see how much power we can really get through this thing. Um, so I'm satisfied that I, you know, that we can transmit through the ground um, pretty much with, uh, with uh, little to no loss like Tesla was saying. Um, so now I want to just see what I can, how much juice we can get out of the magnifier above uh, so-called ordinary output. Tesla was saying excessive EMFs could uh, be obtained with the magnifying transmitter. So we'll see how that works. Talk to you guys later.